Firstly, let me tell you about my experience. I am what they call a high school musical, uh, hashtag number one fan. Zac Efron is my homie, he's my homeboy. Vanessa, what's she called? I can't even remember what she's called. Is she called Vanessa? Or is that a real name? Vanessa who? I gotta go my own way. What about us? Her. Uh, she's beautiful. My God. God damn. My God. Six-year-old Harry, my boy, he is you know, wooning. I remember getting all the films for Easter. I remember going to the cinema to watch number three with my friend who is actually in prison. Funny how life turns out for biting someone's ear off. That's a true story. We went to go watch High School Musical together. I don't know where I'm going with this, but how how life has turned around for some people, eh? But musicals, they're not really my thing. I do admit, I do like, um, this is the greatest show, but I'm not a fan. Like, I'm never going to go to Broadway, or I might do if I get rich, you know what I mean? Just seem like I'm part of the aristocrats, you know what I mean? Just blending in, like, pretending I've not got my meth business on the side and shit like that. But today we're going to delve into this mental illness tour, I'm calling it, because this is just pathetic. They, like, caress each other. They're, like, flicking each other's beans and, like... Sticking their tongues in each other's mouths, like trying to just do something that I can't work out why. Now, I'm all for inclusivity and everyone being happy, happy, yappy, dappy. But by watching this, you are making me unhappy. In fact, you're making me quite angry. So I think you're you're not really um, doing what you're setting out to do, which is to promote equality. Now, if you don't know, this is uh, the... the um, musical wicked it's a prequel to yellow brick road what's it called wizard of wonderland oz no wizards of wonderland what did i say alice in wonderland i've just missed like wizards of waverly place alice in wonderland i don't know what's it called the yellow brick show but we're gonna watch these cringe fucking dog shit yeah no you don't bitch cue, cue the fake tears <laughs> that's like a secret code cue them Cue the fake tears. It's so sad. These are real tears. I'm so sad to be here. I mean, just being a woman, getting paid millions and millions of dollars to be on a film that's going to gross millions and millions of dollars with Ariana Grande, who's, you know, a multi, multi million dollars woman. It's so hard, my life. It's so hard. Shut up. You look like you're off to Hogwarts with that tie. I mean, she's getting ready for year 10. What is she doing? You know what I mean? Avada Kedabra, that shit. All her earrings. She probably is a witch in real life. By the way, did you mention she's black yet? <laughs> rude. I'm rude. The what? Oh, Ariana Grande is like, what's this bitch fucking smoking, man? I need to go into her trailer and have a poof poof pass because, goddamn, she is smoking some hella green. I mean, what did she just say? So she she pretends to be this actor, blah, blah, blah. When she comes out of the actor mode, she's like, da, da, da. It's me again. In case you'd forgotten what you'd looked like for the past 30 years, you aren't actually the Hulk, but in Wicked, you're actually a black lady. And she goes... Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. I forgot I looked like this. I'm so happy to be here. <coughs> she's trying to be almost like inspirational. She's trying to be not controversial, but she's trying to get you know her quotes in the newspaper, isn't she? She's trying to be well known that she's this edgy, shaved head, um, LGBTQ maybe possibility. Who knows? I don't know. I see someone with twelve earrings and alarm bells go off in my head that they've got a secret dungeon with, you know. Like in um, Pulp Fiction, you know you know what I'm talking about. Sex shit and dildos the size of fucking the Eiffel Tower. That sort of stuff. Feeling really beautiful. <laughs> you fucking are. Holy shit. <laughs> you are. You know. Have you seen the film? <laughs> this is my first time. Do you think they'd say that if it was a fucking man? They'd be like, you're shit. You should find another occupation, bro. Honestly, your questions suck dick. S no, seriously, bro. I'd go fucking, maybe just go walk at Tesco's. Go walk in the local Walmart. I don't give a fuck. You are such a gift. You brought such light into the room. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Levels. Overloading. 
Now that was just clip one. That was one clip. I'm No, you can't, bitch. How do you deal with that? My goodness. I'm not gonna sit here. That's okay. It's just a good question, really good question. Because, um. That's a question. It's a really good question. Is there a fucking parrot here? Who, who the fuck is echoing that? You know, what was the question? Because she's looking real skinny. How do you deal with being called skinny, I think, basically, is what she said. She's always been skinny, but I think the, the problem was, you know, let's say you have someone in your family, a person in your family is unwell but doesn't tell you. You start to notice they're looking narrow, loose. There's two options. Either they're on a diet and they're, you know, really taking it seriously, or they're not well, but they haven't told you, okay? The problem with celebrityism is like a cult, isn't it? Everyone wants to know what's going on in their, in their lives because they're so much, it's so much better than your life. That is why people do it, okay? People are looking at these guy, these girls and going, whoa, how, how, what's happening? How does she look like that? Is she okay? Is she ill? Cause she looks ill, in my opinion. And that's not being rude. Like, I don't mean that offensively, but if anyone in my life came looking like that, I'd be like, what the fuck's going on with you, bro? You need to eat some mashed potatoes and have a Big Mac. Like, fuck me and a full fat coat because you're looking anorexic. Which is a serious issue and it needs help, but just, you know, you can't brush it under the carpet because then it gets too late. Hold on, this one's real quiet. Why are you King Tyrion? I don't know, it's all very emotional and I just felt like you both did such justice. Yes. To These women the are not witches, that is rude. <laughs> it's a beautiful tribute, not to make it about us in any way. It's just you found your own light. <laughs> Come on, it's gone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, it's so cringe. I can't get enough of this absolute meltdown. I mean, watching people explode, implode is hilarious, but watching celebrities do it, it's just amazing. Thank you for this opportunity to play a green witch. It feels real classy. I love it. <laughs> Look, I know I'm taking the piss, and I am, because it's embarrassing, it's cringe, and it's such a a self-entitled douchebag of people involved in this. They think they are the best thing. They look at us and think we are dirt and scum. And they won't tell you about that because they are manipulators. They pretend that they care about you. They don't give a fuck. They just want that money, money, money. Honey, honey, honey. That is what they want on the bummy, bummy, bummy. I knew I'd need oh these. It's almost, she knew she need them. It's almost like it's pre-prepared. Roll tears, Ariana, roll tears. <laughs> I'm the best witch you've ever seen, are you telling me that? Wrong. I can think of at least 12 witches that are better than you, like that film, Three Witches, or what's that one? Stardust, all them witches are better than you. You ain't, you, I've not even seen the film, so she might not even be a witch, I've just realised. I, 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 my only, I have two movie critics I go to, Moisty Moisty, and he told me it was shit, and also Critical Drinks. I like him, I think he's very honest, and he said it was a good film, so I'm not hating on the film, I'm hating on these two douchebags who's got a fucking green towel on her head. Oh my gosh. Um. Why is it so quiet? Oh God, how have they got any tears left at this rate? Yeah. Where's the script? Oh my I don't gosh. know what to say. You know what I mean? That is just pure fakeness. Yeah, that's why I just hate people like this. This final clip is hilarious. I love these two ladies who perfectly acted out what these, uh, she's called Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande. Because it's grand, she just made the grand A because she got fucking famous and her agent told her to. What chose to do with the role, with the roles, was, was something that I think that should be studied. Yeah. Where are you from? Dayton, Ohio. <gasps> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dayton, Ohio. Sorry. Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> 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 Dayton, Ohio. 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 Dayton,
<laughs> oh my god, I'm glad they cleared that up because I was about to Google that and feel like a bit of an ass hat, but good, she ain't got cancer, she ain't got the big C. <laughs> she knows about being black because she was a white middle class girl who was on Nickelodeon. She got money, girl. Oh, yeah, she was on Nickelodeon. She could have been. Anyway, let's not get into that. I love you. I just wanted to show that. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Shout out to those two girls. You're, you're good, fucking. You're funny. I like you. That was good. But yeah, turns out Wicked might have been a good film, but I refuse to go just because of these interviews. You know, it turns me off like a fat man with his moves out. You know what I mean? That erection has disappeared because I don't want to go see a film and promote this shit because it's dog. You know, I, I when I was younger, I used to go see every film, but now as I get older, I'm like, no, I'm not spending... Now I'm paying, by the way, not my fucking parents. <laughs> But now I can spend my own cash. I'm like, no, I'm not spending twenty dollars to go watch goddamn. What came out? I can't even think what came out. I can't even think what has come out this year that I'm not going to see. I've actually seen quite a lot this year. But you know, like the shit films where you go, you go in just for a laugh. You can't even do that anymore because you have to place down a fucking mortgage just to go. Popcorn and drink. That'll be five hundred dollars, please, plus a tip. Yeah, there's your tip. Anyway, guys, goodbye.